<laughs> uh, now, it has been a rocky road for Emmerdale's Priya and there's more drama to come. Now she's in a relationship with Dale's bad boy, Al Chapman. I'm really not the type of man you want to get involved with. Isn't that up to me to decide? We're actually going to do this. Have you got a problem with that? On the contrary. Well, then shut up. This isn't mine. Well, I found it at yours. <laughs> that bracelet you stole from my laptop bag, I want it back. I gave it back. Don't lie to me. Priya's got it. Count the charms. Six. And who's six today? Amber. I bought it for her birthday. Why would I even look at another woman when I'm with you? You look stunning, by the way. I'd be lying if I said there wasn't a spark between us. Why would Chaz make a pass at you anyway? I mean, she's with Paddy. If you can't tell me the whole story, then that probably means there's something more to it. You never know. Maybe one day I'll make an honest man of you. Sorry? Oh, not the reaction you want, really, is it? So will this Christmas bring wedding bells or even more heartbreak? Well, we're delighted to be joined by Fiona Wade, who plays Priya. Fiona, welcome to Loose Women. I was just saying, that is not the reaction you want, is it, from the man you love when you <laughs> suggest that perhaps one day you might get married? Literally probably the worst answer that you could get. Um, and it was, she, didn't, she wasn't even proposing. She was literally just getting excited in the moment and feeling like they're really serious. And that was his reaction, so yeah, not great. So she was kind of <laughs> slightly testing the water, but the water yeah. was a bit lukewarm, I suppose you could say. <laughs> yeah, very. Yeah. Um, so what can you tell... I mean, it's very difficult because, you know, so many Emmerdale fans out there watching this and we don't want to do any spoilers. Um, but, you know, he is a bad boy, Al, isn't he? And the viewers know a bit more about him than probably Priya does. So where is this leading? And, and are you part of any big, kind of big Christmas storyline? Well... So I can't say too much, but what I can say is, is that it is going to be a big Christmas mm -hmm. for Alan Priya. Um, there is a lot of drama to come. And yes, he is ultimately a bad boy, but has she tamed him? Has she got him to settle down a little bit? Um, who knows? But there is a lot of drama in store. Um, and so, yes, I can't say too much. It's really difficult. No, I, know. But, uh... I, mean, I won't make you because I know you get into terrible trouble with your press office and I don't want that to happen to you. Uh, Michael Wildman, who plays Al, plays the bad boy very, very well. Um, you know, when you first met, it was quite quick and it was quite steamy, wasn't it? How did the two of you feel about those kind of scenes? Well, you know, when I, I'd only met Al, um, sorry, Michael Waldman, possibly in the green room once and it's to say hi in the corridor and introduce ourselves. And then you have to and do that. The, <laughs> sorry? And then you have to do that that we've just watched and you've just gone, hi, lovely to meet you. <laughs> I, need to get, I need to get into acting. <laughs> Literally, this is no word of a lie. That was one of our first days filming together. And I oh, get goodness. so giggly and shy. I'm ridiculous. And... I hadn't even met him properly. And then there I was, having to rip off his shirt and kiss him. It's so awkward. Yeah, but, but... you managed to, didn't you? <laughs> <laughs> forced yourself. You forced yourself, Fiona. <laughs> Fiona, you know, obviously, we've got what's going on right now with the social distancing and when you first started, you could do all that. But how do you manage these passionate or, you know, these kind of scenes, but from a distance? Well, yeah, it's difficult. So we started out like that, and that was very much the beginning of their relationship. So we had that to build on. Then all of a sudden, you know, filming stopped, and we had locked down. And, um, and then we, you know, had to come back together, but still look like we're a couple in, its, in their early stages and we're going on to get very serious and in love. So it's not easy to convey that um, from two metres distance. I mean, we literally have gone from, like you said, those intimate scenes to having to be so far apart. Um, but he is a great guy and a wonderful actor, so he makes it very easy, So it's um, and that helps. So it's all, it's all good. <laughs> Fiona, earlier in the show, we were talking about our memories of our first kiss, and, of course, I failed the test because I couldn't <laughs> remember mine. At all, whereas um, Jane seems to have been kissing a washing machine or some uh, <laughs> kitchen piece of kitchen equipment. Can you remember your first kiss? Well, do you know, I do actually. Um, I was 13 and 
there was this boy at school who was like the most popular guy in the year and I really fancied him, but I, I was a little bit of a geek actually. And I couldn't believe it. But anyway, we kissed in the school play playground. But straight afterwards, I remember running to my friends, telling them it had happened, and I went and washed my mouth out straight away. I just remember being <laughs> like, <laughs> washing my mouth out, going, oh, my goodness, but oh, my goodness, we kissed. Yeah, crazy, crazy. Talking of, uh, of, of first kisses, Fiona, I, I, I think you're not long married. And is it right that you didn't live together until after you got married? No, we didn't. Um, you know, we obviously spent a lot of time together. It's taken me a long time to meet the one, this incredible man. And um, I just wanted to take my time on everything. You know, I wanted to get married. He wanted to get married. And I thought, well, that's the way I want to do it. And um, and it was amazing. And it's not like we didn't know each other and then we got married and moved in. You know, I really took my time. Um, our friendship and, and our relationship. And so we, we felt very ready when we got married. And now we're living together. We just got a new house. <laughs> So, um, and it's great. It's really exciting, actually. Um, well, your, your private life's exciting and that's lovely. We're very pleased for you and Simon and congratulations. Uh, you're on the screen life uh, as Priya is getting quite exciting and obviously you can't tell us everything, but it seems like there's a big storyline coming. Um, there are two episodes tonight, aren't there? So it's a double episode yeah. rather. So it starts Emmerdale tonight on ITV at seven and continues from 7.30 till eight. Uh, listen, it's really lovely to talk to you, even though you can't tell us very much, but it's lovely to talk to you anyway, Fiona. Uh, and we oh, should continue watching Priya and Al with interest. Yeah. Okay, thank yeah. you so much. Lovely thank to talk you to you. Bye. 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 Bye.